the breast cancer community is just an amazing community of women. And I didn't, you know, join any support groups or anything while I was in active treatment. I was 28 years old and I was always like the youngest person in the cancer center. And it wasn't until I was on the other side of my diagnosis that I connected with so many other younger women that had gone through the same thing. And, um, you know, just talking to people who get it, who have experienced it firsthand. I advocate for others because in my personal cancer journey, I've switched oncologists before just because I didn't feel heard. You know, I've had an oncologist to tell me, these are your limited, these are your options, but I wasn't presented with all the options. I would have to do my own research. When you don't really know what questions to ask and you don't have all the information, you know, it's hard to really make those decisions on the spot. So I think just the information and really having things explained to you is so important. The CMI project is very important. And there was a time where I felt like if there was no one there who looked like me, then maybe I don't want to go there. Maybe that's not a place that I want to be. But I realized that it's really about just taking up space and creating space and breaking barriers. And I believe that um, that's what CMI is doing with this project, lending us um, you know, just giving us a space to to share our stories, share whatever it is, whatever parts that you're comfortable with sharing and hopes that it inspires and encourages others to to do the same.